think when you hear any music by Tchaikovsky, it makes, makes you want to dance. It's not necessarily the musicians that are always the musical, the musical ones. Quite often the dancers are very, very musical in the way they move, and we have to slightly adjust to them. There's so many great moments musically. The White Swan Pas de Deux is perhaps, to me, the most beautiful. <laughs> to me, Siegfried really believes in romantic love, in true love, and he, he's not gonna, going to marry anybody for, for any other reason. sees Odette, he's captivated by her beauty and her tenderness, and, and he quickly falls in love. Odette, this woman who's been sort of cheated her life and, and everything is just destroyed by this spell, and then suddenly finds love, and you think it is impossible. To keep the dancing really moving dramatically and emotionally with the character presents kind of the biggest challenge because not only are you trying to execute um, difficult classical steps, but we're also trying to tell a, a story. Oh, sorry. I'm not seeing your face. You're a long time down. Let me see how, that you're feeling how you're feeling. And then just sort of just before her entrance, go, and then come up again because you think you're hearing something. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You're a, you were a long time. Yeah. No face. See. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The sort of uh, criticism or notes that I've been giving is that they become more one. You know, when you start off, you're feeling your way, and it. The more you do it, the more you become one and understand what each other are doing. Um, I like everything to be uh, a beautiful picture, but at the same time, you can see them telling the story. Look at her hand. If I don't like a head, I change the head. So that if you were a photographer and you clicked, you would always have a good picture. I found when I was a dancer, I wanted to make the moves as natural as possible. I didn't like balletic poses. I always used to call it the cringe factor, like for someone bringing their husband for the first time and looking at a male dancer and thinking it was rather too stylized and elaborate. So I, with this production, reading the original scenario, I wanted to make the prince much more of a sort of Jack the Lad. And um, with it, although we have classical mime and classical steps, I didn't want it to be a very florid approach. In Act Two, we have quite a lot of mime, and in those, I think it's about probably a minute of it, we have to tell everything that has happened to us <laughs> in sort of Morse code. <laughs> that you have sort of a running dialogue and, and that you're 
saying it to yourself so you can clearly express it, but also trying to make those gestures very natural and very real. I'm still a little bit concerned about um, over there is a lake of my mother's tears. Mm -hmm. You see her saying a lake of my mother. Now, because she's traveling forward, just go, tell me why. Tell me more. Otherwise, everything else was fine. The role of Odette and Odile is maybe one of the most difficult in the classical repertoire. Um, so it is demanding. Prince Siegfried, is, it's not a cakewalk, it's, it also has its demands. It's tough, it's tough. You have to, you have, that's why you train. That's why you do it every day for weeks. I've seen a lot of people, not just the Nader, finish up on the floor after um, they've done their coda. Panting on the floor, it's what I think everyone would like to do in the end of that. You know, just, just go, oh, I'm dead, I can't feel my legs, and it's horrible. And of course you can't, you, you can't do it on stage, and you just smile, you know, with dry, literally dry teeth and dry mouth just, uh, you know, pretending you're absolutely fine and leave the stage thinking, oh my God, I'm going to die. The two principals, Aneda and Numaya, um, very elegant dancers. Aneda, I grew up for me in the company when I was director, and I have a great fondness for her. She has very beautiful lyrical qualities and a very understated dramatic quality too, which brings the story to life. And he is a very ideal partner. His proportions for her, very elegant, and uh, the ideal Prince Siegfried. I've danced with Nehemiah Swan Lake once before, and he is such a phenomenal partner. There is no secret agenda. There is no uh, ego, you know, no explosions or <laughs> any kind of character clash. It's been a great teamwork. Zaneda will be fantastic. She's beautiful. I, I, watching her in the studio and, you know, it's just, it's a pleasure for me to, to be there, to share the stage with her. <laughs> 